Hello and welcome. Uh, this is a rerun of an older movie I've made a couple of years ago and the uh, market has moved on and there's some new information and there were some errors in this presentation. That's why I made a new one. Uh, it's all about MPO and I would like to address the following things. Uh, well, MPO versus MTP, MPO 12 and MPO 24, male, female, single mode and multi-mode fiber, breakout, cross and straight and how to order of course. Uh, first of all, the MPO stands for a multi-fiber push-on system. It's a connector type. There are two differences in, this, uh, in the industry. You've got MPO and then you have an MTP as well. MPO is the standard one. MTP is a trademark by US Connect. Uh, MTP housing is removable and they added some additional physical improvements, but basically they are the same. Uh, of course, MTP is a bit better, but uh, you won't notice it. Uh, there are two versions of MPO, uh, MPO 12 and MPO 24. There is actually even more than that, but that's not really used in the industry. You can see some pictures here, uh, one uh, with uh, 12 fibers inside, and the, here you can see clearly two rows of uh, 12, so 24. The MPO 12 is used on the QCP SR, uh, the CFP 40 gig SR, the QCP 28 SR, so then it runs on 4 times 25 gig, which makes 100 gig. And the MPO 24 is uh, less familiar or less used in the industry. It's used, for example, for the CFP 100 gig SR, but also the CPAC 100 gig SR. And basically, the MPO is using only the four outer lanes. It is a standard with 12 fibers inside, but they are using only the four outer lanes for the 12, four to send and four to receive. You can see that here. So four are sending from this side to this side and the other side is sending four from this side to this side. So the inner four ones are not used. For the uh, MPO24, um, the top row and the bottom row are communicating and the outside two fibers are not used. You got two versions of the connector itself. You got the male and the female. The male has two little guiding pins, and the female has two little holes, as you can see here. Cues of peace and all the optics will have the male side, and our cables will have the female side. Uh, this is important to know if you uh, want to use multiple MPO cables together, you need a male and a female to have the alignment correct, otherwise the alignment of the fibers in, or, or of the transceiver into the fiber is not working correct. Another important thing is you have multi-mode and single-mode version. Uh, the most common is of course the multi-mode. Uh, the single-mode is an exception. But you can see that around, uh, we have uh, a part name for the LR MPO, uh, we call this. But you see some original parts from Cisco uh, is calling it uh, a QCP28 PSM, so parallel single mode. And also Juniper uh, is a QCP 4 times 10 gig LR, and these are both single mode versions. The important thing is that they are using MPO APC as connector. Uh, so the fiber that you have to use, the MPO connector here has to be single mode and APC, so under an angle of 8 degrees. For MPO you have also the fan out, this is used a lot, uh, they call fan out or breakout, so you have the MPO connector here, which is breaking out into LC patches or SC patches. Uh, it can be 4 times 10 gig, but if you have an MPO 24 it's of course 10 times 10 gig, so you will have uh, 20 connectors here and another thing which is important is the cross or straight um, that, that is for the MPO 2 MPO you have three types of polarity it's called type A, type B and type C type A is just straight so pin 1 is connected to pin 1 and for type B it's pin 1 is connected to pin 12 and then you have a type C which is not really used a lot it's just the swapping of the 1, 2 here and the 1, 2 here. For uh, QCP to QCP, you always have to use the type of B. And then we have the ordering information. These are the cables that we are selling uh, from Solid Optics. It's the COP MMF for Multimode Fiber MPO, 8 times LC. So you will have 8 times LC, 2 meter, 3 meter, and so on. 
Uh, and the same for the single mode, so it's called the single mode dash MPO APC because you need the APC inside of the optic, A times LC. So you will have A times LC, but then of course single mode and two meters and all the other meters. We always use female connectors for the MPO. Uh, the fan out is one meter, so the tail here is one meter. Uh, only eight fibers are used in QSFT, and so not the middle four. And this is really made for QSFT to SFT. Then we have uh, the COP MMF MPO, so that's really for QSFT to QSFT connection. Um, always female to female, so uh, no pins are sticking out. And always type B polarity, and this is really for QSFT to QSFT. Thank you very much.